What's up, pack? Wanted to come on here real quick and show you guys a little hike we're doing. We're deep into the property here at the Maddie Ranch. And, you know, every once in a while I grab the pups. We got Marty and Dawson here who are uh, puppies. They're just pushing up on five months now. And Nico right here is a one and a half year old German Shepherd. He's actually more like 1.8 years. Um, so again, like I wanna say to remind you guys, not that I'm promoting off leash for you. I'm just showing what's possible when you understand dog psychology. So remember that I do this for a living. I've been doing it for over 10 years, been practicing this stuff, that I can see a lot of things that most people won't see when it comes to a dog, so I can have my guys off leash. Um, Nico's obviously off leash since he's been a puppy too. So these guys obviously know, you know, leash walking and all that stuff, but this is to me, shh, hey. So there you go. So like, let me explain the stick while we're at it too, my walking stick. So this is one that I use, this is just one that I grabbed and made uh, in the beginning of this walk. Let me go over this so you guys can see how they overcome like a stream here and all this. Let's go guys. Good dozen, right through it. Come on, Marty. Look at the power of the pack. Let's go, Marty. Come on, buddy. Look, 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 look. Come on. Yeah. Very bulldog-like, pal. Very bulldog-like. So now we bring them back. Hey, back. Marty, come. Good. So look, and I use the stick, and I get in front of them. Right? Block, block, block. Block up. So this is what I use. So this is also what I do is I stick it on the floor to see where what's going on on the ground here. Make sure we have good ground, and I also use it as like pushing off things and all that. It's very uneven out here. We're in the middle of raw woodland nature stuff. So this is where things can definitely get a little sticky in here. Sorry that I keep looking down. I'm looking at the ground to make sure we're good uh, on everything here. But you can see these guys with us. To me, this is what everyone dreams of, is going on a hike with your dog off leash, right? And being able to control the situation. So watch. Down. He's the one who's gonna teach these guys. No. Doesn't mean stop, you need shit. It means stop. Now we continue, right? So I work on those things. These are things that I practice throughout the, the hike. Remember guys, we talk about the practice before the performance. Technically I'm in the performance right now because I'm on the hike with the dogs off leash. But I've done so much practice prior to this and I'm still practicing for, let's just say all of a sudden, here comes someone with a dog or a bear shows up or a ton of deer or this coyotes or whatever happens here. I have to be under control myself in a calm, confident state as a leader and then be able to give uh, direction to my dogs and protection if needed. So these guys feel safe out in the wilderness out here. But I mean, can we just stop for one second just so we can listen? So let's just stop and be silent for a second. Shh, sit. Marty, sit. I know you're cold, bro, but as you guys sit. Shh. Stay. It's like a deafening silence. It feels freaking amazing. This guy, Nico, was like, why are we stopped here? We need to go. This is what he needs more of. So we're working on it with him. And this is what I need more of. This is what humans need more of. Being out here and just observing and being in this moment out here and being in nature. <clears throat> it's an unbelievable experience to be in. We can start going again. You know, just to be able to feel it here and feel the moment and not be thinking and get on my phone and I have to think about this and what's happening later and in my past, this thing happened and you know, all that crap. So, amazing stuff. So we are getting back towards, uh, I guess you would call it like the, uh, what do you call it? Like the center area of the ranch here. We're getting back to where the dog park is, where agility is, uh, the ranch home is and getting back to you know the ending of the trails here. So I like to come out here really to be with my guys and get away from all the bullshit of, of society, honestly. Get away from the human world, get away from society, get away from this man-made money, power, fame world. I can literally go back to calm, confident, love, joy world and tap into my instincts. Because being out here, 
there was, we were actually filming. I had to stop to listen and smell to see if I smelled like the, the mustiness of a bear. Cause I heard something and I wanted to make sure. So I'm in touch with my instincts. I'm back to being primal. And how many people live in a city and they, you know, their instincts are just totally gone. They're, they're there, they're there. They're just not um, tapped into at the moment. They're not aware of them. So they become dormant almost because they haven't been used. So if they're not used, that shit gets stale. But luckily, once you tap into them again, they're right there for you available, which is amazing. These guys are still doing good. This is the trust I have too. It's like, you know, these guys aren't even five months yet, Dawson and Marty. And I'm not even really paying attention to them because I trust that they're gonna be with me. And if not, I can almost feel it when they're too far or away. I can feel when that energy is not close to me. So every once in a while, because they are puppies, I do check to make sure it's correct. And I say, oh, okay, these guys are here, perfect. So yeah, we were deep in there. We got a shitload of acres here and we're looking to get more too, because I need stuff to be able to expand into. We bought this ranch with eight acres. <laughs> And me thinking, oh yeah, we got all this space now. This is gonna be great. We've been here for two years in a coronavirus pandemic thing. And we're already growing out of this freaking place. So it's good, which that means to me, the mission's growing. People are becoming aware. Dogs are getting balanced. Humans are getting balanced. So great shit, which allows us to build this place. And I wanna create it to be like a human wellness place through animals, right? Oh shit, we had some we got to make an adjustment here. We got to adapt to be instinctual. A tree came crashing down, clearly. It must have been last night. Where'd that come from? Holy shit. Let's go, guys. So let's adapt. Let's get through here. Okay. All right. Now we are officially back to the dog park. Looks remember rules. Just because gates open doesn't mean we go right in. We're back to here. Let's go. Good job, guys. Same thing over here. Go right in. If I can enjoy the party here, baby. We're back. We're in it. We made it back, Marty. We made it back. We made it back, boys. We made it back, boys. We made it back, boys. Yeah. Oh, wow. Get him, Marty. Get him, Marty. So have a little fun in here to finish it out. But this is the real shit. I mean, we were just in nature on a long hike on our property, on our dog psychology resort, came back to the beautiful nature dog park that we created here. I mean, I'm just in gratitude. I'm more in gratitude that I get to share this with you guys than getting to experience it myself. I love and experience it myself. It means a lot to me, of course but being able to share it with you guys and know that we're making a difference and getting this energy together so we can actually make a shift in the world. That out there, there's no money, power, fame in that shit. That's all calm, confident, love, joy out there. That's all instincts, that's all animal world, that's all energy. So that's what people need to be in touch with now. We're so focused on this money shit, it's a waste of time. Money, power, and fame, and followers, and taxes, it's, it's craziness, but if it's not part of your wellness routine, get out in nature. True, try just once a week for an hour. Just start, 30 minutes, 10 minutes, five minutes, one minute, whatever. Just get out into nature for a little bit. And it might feel weird for you in the beginning, but over time, it's gonna feel a lot better as you get used to it. It's just not known yet. So for me as a guy going in the woods, I mean, when I first came, I mean, I literally have Jordans going through the woods right now. Granted, these are my winter, winter Jordans, but <laughs> I'm literally in the woods learning this shit and I tapped into it uh, by doing it. At first it was really uncomfortable. No, let's go. We were, me and Adam were talking before, before about how we, we just come in here not fearful. We feel good and we are confident about being in here. But I can assure you the first time we went down there, what the fuck is that down there, dude? There could be bears and there. But now we're learning and understanding. Grateful to be able to share this with you guys. Um, it's really all I want to give you today. I know it's been long. I always say it's gonna do a short video, but I'm like, how do I get all this out in a certain time without with having respect to your guys' time also? So thank you for spending the time. I really appreciate it. Grateful to have you guys. Stay calm and confident, get out in nature. Love you guys, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Be good. Be go.
Let's go! Let's go! Let's go, boys! Yeah! Good job, boys! Good job, boys! Good job, boys!